Hello everyone, today I'll be sharing how to paint Birds of Paradise on a beautiful background. The things that you will need are a 2 inch paintbrush, a very small point paintbrush, a small paintbrush, pointy, and a square. You will also be needing a container that you no longer use to keep your water in, some paper towels, and some paint. The color paints that you will need are a blue, orange, dark blue, lime green, dark green, yellow, red, and of course, white. And of course, you'll be needing a canvas. The size canvas that I use is a medium size, and by the end of your painting, it should look like this. Okay, and let's get started. Okay, so for our first layer, we're gonna do a color called Light Blue Permanent. And it's a basic acrylic. I got it at Michael's and it's like $6, it's very cheap. And we're just gonna put the first layer here. I kind of like to do this in sections where I know what the colors are gonna be. I'm only applying the paint that I need for the white and blue colors onto the canvas. And to blend the two colors together, I'm only doing a back and forth motion. Okay, so one problem I get a lot when I'm painting is like when you do these motions, you will get a chunk of paint on the edge of your canvas. So all you have to do is just go like this and lift it up. And make sure you have paper towels all around your canvas so that way you don't get it on your furniture. For here, you want to apply more of the baby blue color because when you apply the yellow, it goes over the baby blue. Another very important tip I'll share with you guys is that you do not want to flip your brush while you are blending because you want to keep the paint that's on the brush the same as, you, as it is on the canvas. And again, I'm only applying what I need for the yellow color onto the canvas and blending it onto the baby blue color with the back and forth motion of the paintbrush. And I just applied more yellow here to get that really nice lime green color on top of the baby blue. One tip that I'll share with you all is that when you are blending two different colors with each other, you will get like this like separation of the colors like to me this doesn't look like it's blended fully so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and apply baby blue to this green and just go over and see how it goes i'm only applying the amount of paint that i'll need for this next step to me that looks so much better of the blending and now that the blue and the green are kind of com combined I'm going to go back and paint over this so that you can kind of see this layer of that new blue that we put on over it. Once your background has completely dried and is ready for the next step, what you're going to be doing is you're going to pick the drawing that you want on here. And the drawing that I will be doing is of this flower. And the reason why I chose this picture is because yellow goes very well with orange and green goes very well with blue. And the colors just really like contrast each other and it can really just like pop out. So there's a couple of ways that you can put this picture onto your canvas. One way is you can freehand draw it, which is a little bit harder if you're not used to drawing like this. The other way is that you can print out this picture into four sections. Okay, so I apply tape on the parts where the two papers connect. The next step after that is to cut out all this extra light gray space because we don't need that. The next step what we're going to be doing is tracing out the leaf first because it's behind the flowers. What you're going to want to do next is cut out the leaf because you don't need it anymore. Once 
once this is fully cut out, you're going to want to place it to the side because we will not be using this until later. And the next step is we're going to paint this leaf here green. One trick that I've learned from my paintings uh, adventures is that if you mess, ever mess up or go over the line with paint, it's easy to fix it. You just get a paper towel and you dab it in some water. Make sure you like, rip, like get all the extra water out. Open the napkin back up and wrap it around your finger and go ahead and just... Another trick that I've learned is to leave your canvas on a screen door for it to dry a little faster. Now that our main color of the leaf has completely dried, what we will be doing next is creating this line that goes all the way down the leaf. For the stem of the leaf, I'm using a small size paintbrush with the colors of yellow and brown. To paint the lines on the leaf, you want to mix the two colors of dark green and white together and just go from the stem of the leaf all the way to the outer edge. The next step I did for each lime green strip on the leaf was just to apply white at the bottom part and a dark green on the top and to mix the two colors in the middle. That way you can get a pointy part at the middle of the leaf where the stem is and at the edge of the leaf. Once I was done with the strips on the leaf, I went back and applied darker green around them just to make the strips pop out. Once your leaf has completely dried, the next step is to put back your stencil of the flower where it was previously before and to just retrace where it is now onto the leaf. The colors I used for the Birds of Paradise was orange, yellow, lime green, red, and baby blue. To get the orange and yellow combined color, you apply yellow at the top and bottom of the petal and blend together back and forth. Once I was done with the petals, I painted the top of them white. The next step is to paint the next flower and just do the same thing as you did for the other one where you apply the yellow and the orange and combine together. For the supple part of this flower, I just applied green with a little bit of red on top and blended that together as much as I could, as well as the part close to the stem. After that, I went back and repainted the orange and yellow combined colors on the petal just because I wanted to add layers for it to really stand out in the painting. Once I was done with that, I applied white underneath the petals and another layer of white above them. And the same thing I did for the petals, I did for the supple. I went back and repainted them in order to add another layer and to add to the colors that are blending between the stem and the supple. For the stem part of this flower, I applied yellow on the left side on top of the green. Once I had a couple of layers of that, I blended the yellow with the green together in order to get a lime green stem color. Right after that, I applied more paint on the stigma part of the flower and applied a darker blue outline. This lime green stem color is gonna match the lime green on the background behind your flowers and leaves. To fill in the empty space on the right side of the canvas, I went ahead and freehand drawed another leaf. And just as we did with the first leaf, I applied two coats of the dark green first.
Next, I went ahead and painted the stem lime green. And applied the stems of the leaf as we did before. And again, I just applied white at the bottom of the stem and dark green on the top and I just mixed the two colors together in order to get that lime greenish color. And once I was done with that, I went ahead and carefully went back and painted around those stems with dark green. And this part of the leaf is kind of like a fold, so what I did was just I applied a very light lime green on it and outlined it with dark green. And next I blended the dark green and white together in order to get the lime green color combined. Right after that, I went ahead and repainted the edge of the leaf because there was some extra paint outside of the line. And finally, I went ahead and painted over the strips of the leaf to, in order to make the stem. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and were able to have fun painting Birds of Paradise. Okay, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.